round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against. But he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Choi's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Nice one-two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Switch, he lands the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Nice punch there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch from the clinch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in time. Straight right hand, no good. Morale gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he went single, rotated head outside. This is going for a Takes him right. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> All right, feet on the hips here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the fight. You got to defend. You can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he scored these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big knee lands. Big leg kick lands. Oh. Nice punch by Choi. Real quick leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. The Korean Superboy gets stung by that leg kick. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. And they separate. Just misses with the right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with that one. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Lands a strike down from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Yeah. 
Stop, stop, stop. Great job out there. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning we did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to blaze it. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Joy gets caught with that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, Peraz lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, big shot lands. You don't know when that leg kicks He's coming. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, there's the double leg. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Single collar tie now. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's being you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guards. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. There's no tell on that leg kick. of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Body attack, and it's blocked. And he gets the takedown. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, closed guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Closed guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, back to a high crotch. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. 
Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. 30 seconds to go in the round. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 15 seconds. Nice punch there by Barat. Pretty good right hand. Round three next. Why let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And they're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Effective punch there by Barrow. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Choi. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice loop and punch. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, huge leg kick to that lead leg. Oh! Just misses with the straight right. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits in a little. Fantastic timing on that Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scoring it over and over again. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Effective punch there by Barrow. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of the third round. Declare the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories.